Katy Perry. Hi. How are you? I'm in the hot seat. Uh, you are. Now tell me, is this true? Is your real name Katie Hudson? Well, yes. Thanks for bringing all the stalkers to my real address <laughs> now. <laughs> well, talk yes. about the, why, why'd you switch it? What's the story behind that? Um, I switched it because living in Los Angeles, there can only really be one Kate Hudson. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, people would come up to me for a minute and they would say, oh, Katie Hudson, you must be sisters with Kate Hudson. I would kind of look, look at them and be like, really? If our parents both named us Katie Hudson... That would be the smartest thing they ever did. <laughs> no, I'm not related to her. She's fantastic. But it's not, that's not me. I'm not her. We're not related. So I took my mother's maiden name, which was Perry. It seemed like the obvious. I love that story. Yeah. That's awesome. Because, see, I do all the entertainment celebrity stuff. So this oh, cool. intrigued me very yes. much. I like that story. And my mom's name is Mary Perry. Can you believe that? Mary Perry. I like what that. What the heck were her parents <laughs> thinking? Mary Perry. Mary Perry. <laughs> Say that five times over. Yeah, it's yeah. a tricky one. And now you grew up, your parents were both ministers, you mentioned. Yeah. Did you do a lot of bad things as a kid? Were you like a rebel? Um, not really. No. I mean, I think I got in trouble for watching Austin Powers and like skipping out one day. <laughs> I do remember, oy vey, if uh, you want a story. Yes, I do. <sighs> I do remember the worst thing I think I did when growing up is I... You know, I did it a couple of times. I wasn't allowed to go to, like, high school dances and stuff. I don't know why. Um, I just wasn't allowed to participate in that stuff. And I would always kind of, like, um, plan it so that, you know, when the high school dances were coming or when the junior high dances were coming mm -hmm. around, um, I would just randomly have to have a sleepover at my friend's house. Oh. And, you know, I, I, uh, I, I did that a couple times. And I remember I gave my number, and I didn't have a cell phone back then, I remember, I remember I gave my number to a boy, and what an idiot. He <laughs> called after the dance at midnight to my parents looking for me at my house. Maybe he thought it was, like, my personal line or something. Oh, and, no. Uh, yeah. Needless to say, my mom uh, came and dragged me up from my friend's house, and I never saw that girl again. Mary was not happy, I see. No. no. <laughs> And is it true that your dad, you went, he woke you up every morning and you went to garage sales? You love garage sales? Well, not every morning, oh. um, but yeah, on Saturdays, uh, we'd always go garage selling and thrifting and going to uh, antique stores and flea markets. I love that stuff. Really? I love vintage. I'm a big collector of little things here and there. And uh, my parent, my mom was actually an antique dealer. Excuse me, I just um, burped. <laughs> Excuse, Excuse me. <laughs> My mom was ex uh, an antique dealer when she was younger, so she's got a great eye for things. And I'm like a crow. Anything that's shiny, I'm like, I want it. I want it. Give it to me. <laughs> What's like the weirdest thing you ever bought at a garage sale that you can think of? Oh, the weirdest thing I ever bought at a garage sale. I've bought so many random things. Yeah. But I mostly stick to jewelry and, um, you know, funny trinkets like bad pictures of like 80s rockers or you know stuff like old music memorabilia that's just like totally ridiculous and is it true too that you like to surf you go surfing i love to surf and to skate when i'm home um but uh yeah i haven't been for a minute so i may not be too good did you ever have like a nip slip moment Nipple slip. Oh, a nip slip? Yes. Yeah. When I was Many. younger, when I didn't have these things much, <laughs> or much of them. When you didn't have much of them, you had a nip slip? Yeah, um, probably here yeah. and there. Mm. I, I mean, everybody has them. I've, mm -hmm. I, I've been caught in, in that position before. I think everybody has. <laughs> <laughs> and what about, okay, you're dating Travis. What do you do to kind of, do you guys talk a lot often? Or what do you do to kind of keep each other's memory while you're... On tour. Um, well, we're both on tour on the same tour. So oh, okay. It's quite easy as of right now. Um, but, you know, communication always is the key. Mm -hmm. um, I've had long distance relationships before. I actually quite prefer them because it's, it's kind of like absence makes the heart grow fonder and you get to see them all the time and you kind of have that like butterfly constant. Um, but uh, it's fun having him on tour, especially when I'm like, you know, going through all this craziness right now. It's so cool to have a constant. For sure. Just yeah. something consistent. Yeah, yeah. I'm not roaming the buses at night, you know, <laughs> looking for love. On the prowl, yeah. yeah. B96.